How will humanoid robots learn? How will they become intelligent? And how quickly will that happen? Intelligent humanoid robots, they will fundamentally change our world of work and thus also our society. As always with such enormously useful technologies, we won't be able to stop them. You and your company need to start preparing for this new era now. The first prototypes of humanoid robots are already working at fairly conservative companies. Apollo from Aptronic is working at Mercedes. At BMW, Figure from Figure AI is employed. And NEO has recruited humanoid robots from Ubitech. It all is just testing, and it still looks pretty clumsy, but it's a promising start. In the first two episodes on humanoid robots, I answered two questions. One, will the physical capabilities of humanoids be sufficient to perform virtually any physical labor? And the answer is a resounding yes. And will they be intelligent enough to do everything for us? Again, the answer is a resounding yes. The more long-term we think here, the clearer it is that millions and even billions of humanoid robots will be working for us. The Chinese government wants to become the world market leader in humanoid robots in the next three to four years with robots that can, quote, think, learn, and innovate. Learn and innovate? How is that supposed to work? Well, AI robots can learn directly from human bodies. A motion capture suit can be used to capture a person's movements in detail, transfer the data to a robot's neural network, and that way train the robot. For example, robots can learn to dance so well that they can in turn teach us how to dance, with all the patience you need for some talentless dancing students. If you've entered thousands or even millions of work processes, a robot can do it too, even better. And the other millions of robots simply copy the skill. It's only a question of time, computing power and energy, that we will be able to teach a humanoid robot almost any human movement in this way. AI robots learn by observing humans, by simply watching videos of good work. This is called imitation learning. Tesla has been training its AI for autonomous vehicles end-to-end -end since version 12 of full self-driving, now called supervised. This means that the neural network watches millions of hours of 360-degree videos that show how good drivers act in a wide variety of situations. How do you know which drivers are good drivers? Tesla identifies good drivers using a safety score. Drivers who tailgate too closely, drive too fast, often receive collision warnings and brake hard are far from the maximum score of 100. Their videos are then not used to train the AI. Other companies are pursuing similar approaches, but Tesla has by far the largest treasure trove of real-world video data of any provider in the world, and the lead is growing. Over 5 million vehicles collect unimaginable amounts of video data every day. How do you train for situations that occur extremely rarely? Through text to video. Sora from OpenAI shows how you can generate any video with two or three lines of text. It works in a similar way with text to 3D. The AI generates a virtual simulation that the developers can thereby simulate even the craziest traffic situations and edge cases which means they generate artificial videos for training the cars. This brings them ever closer to their goal of AI driving 10 times better and safer than a human. The very same AI technology that is performing better and better in extremely complex urban traffic is now being put into the brains of humanoid robots. Which is easier, driving a car in a big city or working in a factory, in a trade, in a garden, in catering or in the household? Exactly. What a robot needs to be able to do is less complex in terms of individual skills than city traffic. And what is less dangerous? So that the bots can be introduced much more quickly and with a greater willingness to take risks? Exactly. Because we are already so far advanced with autonomous driving, humanoids will soon be working in factories, on construction sites, then in services, and finally in our homes. We said it back in the 2000s already. Robots will learn like children, through imitation, by watching us live or watching videos of what we do and imitate us. How do people operate this production machine? How do people deliver parcels? How do people load and unload a dishwasher? And there are different strategies in every household for this. 
When millions of hours of 360-degree videos are available for input, the AI robot very quickly becomes better and safer than any human. AI robots learn by themselves. AI and robots have been trained for decades using machine learning, but now they are learning more and more on their own, through reinforcement learning. They are rewarded for successes and punished for mistakes. They are self-taught, then they don't even need us humans as teachers. Do you remember how the AI AlphaGo defeated the world champion in the game of Go? Go is much more complex than chess. Since 2019, human Go players have not stood a chance against the AI. The AI practically learned the skills on its own, without humans having to train. You become a Go Grandmaster after half a human lifetime, 30 or 40 years. AlphaGo became a super grandmaster in just 40 days, without being taught by a human. A team at Google DeepMind managed to teach an AI to play soccer in 2021. That's how inept the AI players were at the beginning, wildly wriggling digital creatures. With their 56 joints, they first had to learn to move like real people. To do this, they simply showed the AI 105 minutes of videos of soccer matches. From this, the AI players learned to move perfectly. This is what it looked like after three days of training. The three days correspond to five years of simulated games. First, the AI players learned how to handle the ball, dribble, and predict the path of the ball. And this is what it looked like after 50 days of training, which equals around 80 years of simulated games. The AI players learned to recognize and understand the movements of the other players. And finally, the AI players learned how to cooperate with each other in order to win against the opposing team. They learned from mistakes and successes how to best score goals, and the number of goals was predetermined as the reward. There is nothing technically standing in the way of expanding the game to 22 players with a real offline, offside rule and so on, apart from computing power and energy. Not even data will be the bottleneck in this case, because it learns by itself. Transferring these amazing AI skills to the body movements of robots is, of course, anything but easy or simple. But AI and a lot of training time and the data will get the job done. Mind you, the tasks of humanoids will initially be in production and logistics, and these are much less complex than the game of soccer. This type of learning has practically only three limiting factors. First, the availability of video of the activity to be trained. Two, the corresponding computing power. And three, energy. More and more billions are being invested in the acquisition of data, AI chips and renewable energy. With these enormous investments, all three factors are available almost indefinitely. And AI robots learn from each other. We humans have to learn our skills individually. To do this, we go to school for many years. We study and undergo professional education and training. If an employee leaves your company, his or her knowledge is lost to your company. When we die, our knowledge and skills are lost to the world. The next generation can build on previous knowledge. But every single person has to learn everything anew. Not so AI and robots. If a robot has learned to load and unload dishwashers or make coffee, the skill can be immediately transferred to all other robots of the same kind. They don't even need to be have trained on all existing machines. You can extrapolate, transfer, infer from the operation of a dishwasher or coffee machine to that of an unknown machine. What a robot learns and masters can be saved as a skill and published on a platform for robot skills. Any robot from the same manufacturer can download this skill and immediately have the same ability that other robots have developed. This will also work across manufacturers. NVIDIA offers the Groot Foundation model and the ISAC robot platform for this purpose. This transfer of skills from one robot to another happens without years of training as it is the case with humans but immediately. With the right skill installed, you can use one robot for virtually any physical task. And they never forget or unlearn the skill. On the contrary, they get better and better at it through updates. They will only forget the knowledge and the skills that have become obsolete. The skills of AI robots are accumulated. The skills of humans largely have to be built up 
again and again. It is impossible to overestimate the immense speed with which AI robots are becoming more and more capable, and all at minimal cost when compared to the cost of human labor. And now, what does all this mean for you and your industry and your company? What can you do now? We now know that the capabilities, the skills of humanoid robots will grow very quickly, much faster than we can imagine today. We've established in previous episodes that there are very good reasons to believe that intelligent humanoid robots will increasingly work for us because of their physical and cognitive capabilities. In factories, in logistics, on construction sites, in service and also in our homes. A single humanoid robot can do up to 10 times more work than a human. The world of work and the societies will be transformed enormously in the coming years. And so will your job and your company. Whether you produce something, work in logistics, work in a construction company, or run a restaurant. If you and your team would love to leave everything as it is, if you refuse to accept necessary change for as long as possible for emotional reasons, your fears about the future will only grow. If you see yourself as a victim of change, you will develop fears about the future. Of course, you don't have to turn your business upside down immediately because humanoid robots are coming soon. But I do recommend that you develop a well-founded joy for the future in your team. Joy for an exciting new era. Then the transformation will be easier for you and your team. It will be faster, cheaper and more fun. Let's summarize. The first effect is more efficiency, fewer jobs. The same performance can be achieved with much less human labor. That's efficiency. This costs jobs and raises many social issues, which we will address in another episode. The second effect is more productivity, the same number of jobs. You can also achieve much more with your team. That's productivity and it preserves jobs. With AI and robotics focused primarily on productivity, then AI and robotics will not necessarily lead to fewer jobs in your company and in the economy. Can there be limitless productivity and growth? Well, not if it means even more products and more resource consumption and more stress. But it is possible if it increases people's quality of life. Quality of life is the only thing that can and should grow forever. 3. Your task. Develop a new strategy and business model. You will have to rethink and redevelop your strategy and business model in the face of AI and humanoid robots, if only to avoid falling behind and to maintain your competitiveness. The recommendation is start now. To stay in the game, prepare yourself and your team now. Make sure you start now to think through every element of your processes and learn how to use AI and robotics productively in the foreseeable future. In the latest episode, I recommended creating a matrix with all your processes on one axis and the years until 2035 on the other. Then enter your assessment of when and to what extent AI and humanoid robots could take over the activities in each process as a percentage. 5. Your thoughts and questions. How do you see the future with humanoid robots? If you have any suggestions or questions, please write them in the comments. 6. Become a member of the Bright Future Leaders. This is our community of forward-thinking leaders. You will receive regular and free tips and strategies to make you and your company more future-proof. The link is in the description. And watch the whole playlist on robotics here. Have a bright future!